Diamond League matches every week. There's multiple matches for different different uh, divisions within the Chobo Team League, and the second Diamond Team Diamond League match is actually an ace match, which is a best of three rather than a best of one. Anyway, uh, we are uh, just heading into the game now. So uh, make sure everything's all set up as it should be. So, spawning in the lower left, we have our Red Protoss Cyber Wizard playing for Outset Gaming. And spawning in the upper right is our Pink Terran, we have Jansia. Playing for Vortex Esports, although not sporting a clan tag currently. Cyber Wizard sending a very early probe across the map. I'm not sure if that's going to be uh, for scouting or for some sort of cheese, but that is a very early probe to be sending across the map. SCV scout coming at a more normal time. That probe does get into the base. Jonty not choosing to try to make any sort of a wall off at this point. Probe trying to be a little annoying, poking at that SCV a little, but uh, the other SCV tells it to move along. In fact, that SCV might get that probe if it's uh, not too careful. All of its shields are gone now. Well, it looks like that probe is going to escape. After getting a nice full scout of the whole base. And uh, from what we see, I highly suspect a Reaper is going to be coming out from Johnson pretty quick. Got that typical early gas, but not early enough to really point to factory play. In the meantime, we have a, a typical gateway build coming out of Cyber Wizard. The Cyber Core already on the way. And we do have that first Reaper on the way for Johnson. Already rallied all the way across the map. Another probe coming in to scout, seeing that there was no wall off. There's no reason a probe shouldn't come back to scout, and it does. So, for those of you who might just be joining me, the current score in this match is 4 to 3 in favor of Vortex. This is a really close match for the Shobo Team League here. And for any of you who may be unfamiliar with the Chobo Team League, it is a a fun league for players anywhere from bronze to diamond to sharpen their skills in a great team environment. Highly suggested if you want to learn some more StarCraft. You can follow the... <clears throat> well, I'll uh, paste, paste the uh, link, link from the description into your browser if you want to know more about the Chobo Team League. Anyway, this Reaper gets uh, pushed away by a Stalker pretty quick. Doesn't really get that much of a scout off. In fact, I'm going to look at his vision to see what Giancia has seen so far. He's, in fact, seen pretty much nothing, so he just hasn't been able to get a very good scout off yet with that Reaper. But he's going to send it up up here in the only place that you can. Surprised that the Stalker isn't actually blocking that. But the Mothership Core is there, and... The Mothership Core, with one more blast from the Stalker, actually gets the Reaper before he gets to see very much. Let's uh, look again what he was able to see. Well, he was able to see that it was a gateway with the gas just going down. But still, not all that much, but then there isn't all that much to see at this point. Just pylons, a gateway, and a Cyber Core. Anyway, so he's uh, got his second base up. In fact, both players with a second base at this point. Pretty similar timing. Cyber Wizards went up just a little bit earlier. No, John says went up just a little bit earlier. Anyway, hey, he's also got a bunker down for protection and lots of marine production going. 
making a second tech lab, so we're probably going to see those upgrades come out really fast. Yeah, you see Combat Shield already on the way as well as Stimpak, so... I'm going to see a little bit fa faster of the uh, extra upgrades for Marines, which is extremely powerful. In the meantime, Cyber Wizard is uh, getting all of his production up and running. A Robo just about to finish for him. An Observer immediately being built out of it. Warp gate now being complete. <coughs> needed for Cyber Wizard, so uh, he does have that warp gate tech. He doesn't have that many gateways though, he's only got these two so far. Photon Cannon. He's actually got really nice Sim City here. Here, there's only this one little tiny way into the mineral line. So it's going to be pretty hard to uh, run in and attack his mineral line, but against a Terran that isn't that useful because they just literally drop right here and do what they do. Anyway, we've got that Observer coming across the map to get a decent scout off for Cyber Wizard. With uh, no missile turrets up, that it is going to have run of the base. But rather than risking running in and risking being uh, seen and scanned, it's just going to hang out here outside the natural ramp. In the meantime, Hallucinated Phoenix being sent across. Cyber Wizard uh, doing a lot to get a lot of good scouting info. Hallucinated Phoenix doesn't get very far into the base, but definitely confirms bio play, seeing a ton of Marines and Marauders. In the meantime, we also see uh, plus one weapon weapons on the way as Concussive Shells finishes out for our Terran players, so... All those typical upgrades on the way, well, in the meantime, we see uh, plus one armor just about, uh, well, about halfway done for a Protoss player. And that Robotics Bay on the way, so we're going to see Colossi come out pretty soon. In the meantime, that factory is headed out of Jamcha's base to go be the fact overlord and scout. In the meantime, we've got uh, this observer headed up this way. This one's still hanging out here, watching all those marines and robbers. Which is actually a really good place to be as he sees this drop starting out. So John Chia knows exactly what's going on here. I've seen that drop start out. The other observer confirming that a third base is being built as well. So Cyber Wizard is some remarkably good scouting during this game. Cyber Wizard's scouting is actually really impressing me during this game. So, you know, he's got the stalkers right here in position when this drop comes down. It's not really enough, though. That's a ton of Marines and Marauders that taking out these stalkers. And the stalkers were in just the right place, but there just weren't enough of them. So it looks like this drop is going to be able to get some damage done. However, having dropped over here, that Sim City I talked about earlier is actually going to help out a fair bit. bit uh, limiting attack paths. As, but there's absolutely nothing to defend right now for Cyber Wizard. He's got a ton of money, though. Why he's not warping in Zealots, I couldn't tell you. I mean, he might be concerned with trying to kill this factory overlording over, and I haven't seen it. Seems kind of strange, though. He's lost most of the probes over here, some of them being drawn. Photon Overcharge has been set up to try to help with this. The rest of his army finally coming back to try to help clean up this drop, but he knew the drop was going to be there, but he... You know, he just playing underprepared and sent over too few units. That was a pretty good drop for Cyber Wizard. See how many uh, probe kills he got during that? 17! 17 workers killed. And maybe one of them I mean, was a scout probe from earlier, but that was some really good worker kills. It was a really effective drop there from Jansia.
He's in fact up 17 workers, so he's up as many as he killed, so... That puts Jiangxi at this point in a pretty commanding lead. Up 20 supply, up 17 in workers. Now only 14 in as Cyber Wizard, of course, heads very heavily into probe production. Almost certainly chronoing out those probes. That uh, factory actually did get some pretty good scouting information in general. It's still flying out there. Their uh, factory is overlording in, do actually have a really high number of hit points, and so often can get a really good scout off, even if you just kind of send them in. If you don't mind sacrificing the factory, it's often a very good thing to do. The only real cost to sacrificing the factory is you can't build any more starports if you want them as a Terran player playing Bio. And of course, you can't support with, say, Widow Mines or tanks, but Widow Mines, at least until the next patch, are not extremely effective against Protoss, and. Uh, Tanks can be, depending on what sort of composition they have. But anyway, just uh, choosing to sacrifice that factory for information, really not a bad choice for Johnson, especially when he's as ahead as he is. Another engagement going down here in the center of the map. Johnson just seems to have a lot more here, and he just uh, keeps uh, picking up, up, uh, picking up zealots for free. Those concussive shells really doing work. Chases the Protoss player all the way back into his base. Looks like he might actually take this attack all the way into the base. Scanning to see what's going on here. Absolutely nothing in production for Cyber Wizard. He's focused completely on this defense. And it's Photon Overcharge going off, taking down a number of Marines, but there just isn't that much here for him. Cyber Wizard just doesn't believe it. He just can't believe the bio force that's on his doorstep. Cyber Wizard obviously a little bit upset over that loss. 